Hello everyone, my name is Ivo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. Glad you joined me today because today I'm going to cook, I'm going to show you how I cook one of my favorite vegetables, rapini. And if you've never cooked or seen rapini, this is what it is. I call it, it's a cross between a broccoli and a spinach. And you can see it's got like these little broccoli uh, bulbs on it, but yet leaves like uh, more or less like a spinach. But it's a phenomenal, phenomenal vegetable super healthy take a look online do a google search and you'll see all the health benefits it's definitely a super food very very good for you and very very tasty so what i like to do first thing garlic i've got two cloves of garlic here and i'm using the garlic from my garden um, these are cloves that my father gave me that I've planted year over year over year. I keep uh, replanting the same seeds. If you ever want to plant garlic, put it uh, with the pointy side up, the base side down, two inches into the soil. I plant them uh, towards the end of October and by the summer I've got beautiful, beautiful bulbs of garlic. Okay, so I like to slice my garlic as opposed to mincing it, when I'm cooking rapini, I like to make thin slices of garlic. And then when you can't cut anymore because you can't hold it, just turn it on the flat side and continue. Okay, but you see there, it's a nice um, flat, thin slice because what you're gonna get with that is you're gonna get more contact with the oil and more flavor. So. I like to do that when I'm, when I'm sauteing my rapini. So same thing, I just slice it really thin. And then when I can't hold it anymore, I just turn it over and continue slicing. Okay, so our garlic is sliced. Two cloves of garlic. In the frying pan they go. Next most important ingredient, you probably guessed already, olive oil. Definitely want to put in the olive oil and you want enough olive oil to cover the bottom of your pan And that should do it right there again. Don't be shy with the olive oil now what I've done with the rapini I've uh, basically I cut the ends off The stems the stemmy part on the very bottom. I cut them off because those are harder um, to eat but I don't throw these away. You have two options. One, I like to save them for soups. Or two, if you have time, you could do like my father used to do. He used to take these stems and just with a knife, just peel back the skin or the outside. Whoops, I don't want to turn you on yet. So you just peel back the outside layer and inside you will have a nice, soft, delicious, piece of rapini. So the stems you do not want to throw away. Today I don't have time so I'm not going to do that but I am going to save those and I'm going to use them in a soup. So now we can fire up. There we go. Fire up the right one. And I'm just going to put that on medium to medium high. What I like to do is just cook the garlic in that oil for about 30 seconds. Spread it out and we're gonna flavor that oil very, very nicely. It's been actually closer to a minute right now and so it's time now to add the rapini. So all I've done is I've washed this rapini and I put it in a lettuce spinner and I spun it somewhat dry. You can hear the crackling, there's still a little bit of water in there but not a lot so it's safe to put in. I'm gonna leave it on medium heat you don't want it on high and you don't want it on low. Medium is perfect to get this rapini cooked down and it will cook down. It'll, it'll cook down not as, as much as spinach does, but it definitely will cook down. Okay, now time to put the lid on. You want to put the lid on and get that rapini to heat up nicely inside your frying pan. Um, once it's all heated, that's when we're going to stir it up a bit. But I do want to mention, uh, first of all, a lot of people don't know about rapini uh, and, and don't cook it and it's, I'm surprised because even the fellow when I bought the rapini today at the grocery store was looking at me and I asked him if he ever tried it and he's in the vegetable section and he's never tried it. So hopefully he's tuning in today. Um, but a lot of people who do cook, do cook it, they like to boil it first. 
they'll boil it down and then they'll saute it. Personally, I don't like to do that. Of course it tastes good, uh, but I think you're boiling, you're removing a lot of the nutrients. This way you're getting the full benefit of that rapini, as I mentioned earlier, which is extremely, extremely healthy. So the only reason why people will boil it, sometimes the rapini can be a little bit bitter and that'll help remove the, the bitterness. But honestly, once you've done it like this, I'm sure you'll continue to do it like this. And again, it's the best for you health-wise. So now we're gonna, I'm just gonna leave it in there and wait a few minutes. I'm not even gonna touch it. And then as I can see, it's starting to cook and get soft. That's when we're going to uh, go to the next step. Okay, so it's been about four minutes and you could see the rapini has already cooked down a bit. So I'm gonna take it off a of medium now and put it on low. Because most of the cooking is done already. And at this point, what I like to do is get it all turned around. You can see that's four minutes on medium. So this basically is basically already cooked and you could, you could eat it, but I like to give it another minute. Whoops, I lost a little bit there. I don't know how that happened. Okay, <laughs> it does happen. Whoops. All right, so now is the time and I like to add just a little bit of salt. Okay, drizzle a bit of olive oil. Put the lid back on, turn the heat off, let it sit for another minute or two, and it's done. That's how simple it is to make rapini. I do want to mention, you could, this is optional, uh, I don't do it because honestly my wife doesn't like it, but I do. Um, you can add at the very beginning when we put the garlic in the oil, you could add in one chili pepper, or you could take some chili flakes and add it and let it cook with the garlic and the oil and you have a spiced rapini. Um, but for today, we're just gonna have it plain Jane, just with the olive oil and the salt. It's time to take it out of the frying pan and I like to make sure that I get all that olive oil and all those nice pieces of garlic and make sure they all make their way into the serving platter because those are all very, very good for you. So talk about a healthy vegetable along with Extra, extra virgin olive oil, I should have mentioned. It's all extra virgin olive oil and garlic. And there is one healthy vegetable dish right there. Rapini Evo style. Very simple, quick, easy to do, and you've got a delicious, healthy vegetable for dinner. And speaking of dinner, I'm looking forward to having dinner with Laura, my wife tonight, wherever you're tuning in from. If you've never tried rapini, just give it a try. Try this simple recipe. It'll turn out to be one of your favorites and super, super healthy. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, good luck and bon appetit.